WKBN is your local election headquarters. Tonight, we focus on the three candidates interested in becoming Youngstown's next clerk of courts. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us all of the candidates have views on how the office should move into the future. After 23 years in the Youngstown Clerk of Courts office, Richard Hill is now looking forward to succeeding his boss. I'm ready to go uh, from day one. I understand um, the caseload. I'll be able to uh, undertake the caseload uh, and I understand the operations of the court. Sarah Brown Clark has been clerk since 2000, but she's retiring at the end of the year. Besides Hill, City Law Director Jeff Limbian and paralegal and former school board member Corinne Sanderson are challenging for the seat. So I do have a legal background as far as like paralegal work and I know definitely I'll be able to help and assist to bring the, and move that uh, office forward. And I think that uh, the clerk of course office is a, a place that needs some uh, uh, revamping, and I'd like to be the person to do that. Hill says one of his priorities will be to upgrade the office's computer and e-filing systems. We're going to be able to have uh, electronic payments for every division, um, remote access for the judges, so it's going to be a complete game changer. But Sanderson claims the focus needs to be on controlling costs and cutting back on the clerk's $3 million budget to offset the budget, they need to know how to collect uh, as far as like the ticket rate. It has to increase. Right now it's at 32%. Limbian believes cuts need to be made as well, claiming the office is top heavy with employees. When you look at other clerk's offices, they're run with far fewer people. And through attrition, I'd like to see that place uh, scaled down to a point where we could say we're running efficiently. Hill argues the current staff of 26 has seen an increasing workload. And our caseload is up by 7,000. So being the caseload that we have, um, personnel will stay as is. Voters will decide November 7th. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. We will continue to follow the issues and races up to and through Election Day. Look for the latest online and on our WKBN mobile app. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.